Hi everybody! On this video, I am going to teach you how to make end game on scratch part 2. If you want to see the preview, the previous part of this video, you can check the description and click on the video link. Anyway, let's get started. So the first step is uh, coding the ants. These are the ants. Uh, it has three costume like that, and then let's start coding. So when I receive start, it will hide, and then when I play, wait five seconds, and then at a repeat until block. Let's make a variable. It's called game. So when I receive start, set game to off. Okay. So when I see play, set game to on. Also repeat until game equals off. Put the variables at a game block. Uh, wait, a uh, wait block. It will wait. Pick random from one to two. Also add a create clone of myself block like that now when I start as a clone block like that go to um, uh, y 176 and x would be pick random from minus 175 to min uh, to 175 like that and then uh, switch costume to pick random from one to three and then show oh wait uh if game equals on game on it will show else it will hide okay mm, and then let's make a variable it's called movements so the variable movements is going to decide uh, which way is the end going to move okay so also set movements to zero just one two set movements to zero and go to controls again if then else block go to operators and block this one okay so this one is minus 150 and this one is 150 and then um, Go to motion and add an X position block. So if X position is bigger than one minus 150 and uh, X position is less than 150, it will set movements movements to pick random from one to two. There's only two movements, okay? If uh, if else, it will set movement to one. Drag it in here like that. Also, add an if block. If go to variables, add a movements block. If move movements equals one, add a repeat until block. Repeat until. Uh, this one minus 100 one minus 175 go to motion and a y position block inside uh, if movements uh, equals one it will repeat until minus 175 it will change y by pick random from minus one to minus five okay put it here also duplicate this one 
Okay, if mo movement equals two, uh, delete this one. Go to motions. Add a glide one seconds block. Glide one seconds to X. Uh, uh, add a minus block. Also minus block in Y. Go to motion. This one is X position and this one is Y position. Okay. X position minus 50 and Y position minus 100. Duplicate this. Okay. Put it put it out. Or go to operators and add a plus block. Plus 50. So this is basically going to make the sprite the sprite the ants move zigzag okay mm -hmm. also don't forget to add a delayed clone block delete this clone and let's test it play so yeah the ants is this one is moving zigzag this one is moving zigzag this one is also moving zigzag yes this one is moving zigzag this one is moving straight like that so the ants are moving randomly that's how ants are they don't just move in straight line they move zigzag and others okay i'm going to stop this so that's basically how you make the system of ants cloning okay so next up is uh what if the ants reach the bottom so we're going to make another variable it's called large so uh, set live to five block also this one set live to five and then so the ants reach the bottom uh, if the uh, y position is minus 175 it will change lives by minus one so what happens if you lose all your lives what if happens if your life is zero so i'm going to add a one rcf start forever block if life if life is equal to zero then uh it will go to sounds i'm going to pick a sound sound alert okay start some alert and then set game to off game to off oh yeah change to play forgot set game to off start some alert and then wait wait five seconds okay wait five seconds and then broadcast start broadcast start like that also let's make another sprite I'm going to draw sprite it's going to be game over okay so this is the game over sprite i'll just rename it game over and then when i receive play hide i will hide and duplicate when I save start hide when I save play hide and then wait until uh, life equal zero life equal zero uh, and then show go to motion and go to block so go to x0 and y0 show and then um, after showing it will wait it 
wait four seconds and then hide again okay we'll go back to the ants mm, let's test it so yes we'll just let the ants go down so as we know the life is de decreasing so we have only one life and there we go of the game over showing anyway let's hide the variables uh, okay so to prevent the ants from getting the, to the bottom we must click on the ants to delete the clone okay so when this part is click it start sound let's see chomp Okay, start some chomp, chomp, and then delete this clone, and then uh, let's test it. I'm going to click on ants, and it works. The sound works. Okay. Now uh, let's make the exit system. So when I receive play. If key if key E is pressed, uh, also for error block. If key E is pressed, also add an if game equals on. game equals on it will set game to off set game to off and then broadcast start broadcast start like that so it will, it will only work if the game is on if the game is off it won't work okay let's test it play so when I say play forever So let's just say the ants are gliding and I'm going to press the E, okay? E key, press, and there we go. It works, the exit system. Okay, so that's it everybody. That is all how you make ant game on Scratch. We have a perfect game right now. So this is the ant game, uh, fully, fully coded. Let's play it in full screen. Mm -hmm, like that. Anyways, if you want to check out the part one of this video, you can just go to the description and click the video link. Anyway guys, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and family. See you next time. Bye!